Hi guys, it's Kay Comer in here with you, and uh, we're back with another book. Um, I had intended to keep making the books over the summer, but it just didn't work out. There was so much garden work and, and all that to do, and uh, uh, I just, I don't know, I couldn't stay focused with all the extra work during the summertime. So I'm trying to get started back up again, and uh, I'll do them as often as I can. Um, I'm going to try to do one a week if I can. I've got a smaller one that I'm going to do after this video. Uh, this book is already sold. Let's just open it and get to it and try to make this video kind of quick. This is an image that I have used before of an old cabin, and several people asked me if I would make another one with that uh, image, and uh, I have made a couple now, I think since the first one even, so uh, this will be the last one with this image for a while because I've got a lot of ideas rolling around in my head and I want to get to them. Uh, this has a whole big piece, a big square um, lace doily on the bottom and then a, a smaller round one on top. Uh, this book is, I always forget to measure them, but it's about 8 inches tall, uh, 6 inches wide maybe, 7 inches wide seven by eight maybe I'm not sure but it's it's the big size book uh, it's made out of paper bags as, at the base holes are drilled down the side to put the rags in uh, this is just some paper flowers from Hobby Lobby and a big button in the middle of that flower and then this is all distressed with uh, Tim Holtz ink and um, it's everything is coffee dyed all the fabric all the paper is coffee dyed and ironed and I like to scorch things <laughs> so let's go on the inside and see what we got here And this is just a little insert. I'm afraid I'm going to be too close. I don't have a good setup in the house, and we've got some rain going on, and I'm trying to set up in here. Let's see. Um, this is just an image I got off of Pinterest, some uh, creepy cloth, a couple of those flowers. That comes on a roll at Hobby Lobby, and I just love that. Um, I use it quite a bit. That is uh, the same thing, a bigger flower, and it comes on a roll. It's squinched down now because the book's been closed, but... Um, I'll fluff it back up. This is the little poem I put in a lot of the grandma books, and it says, Within the pages of this book a story will unfold of love and home and family and memories worth more than gold. So sit a spell and take it in, and write if that's your will, because the pages of this tattered book are here for you to fill. And then got some buttons and some fabric and some creepy cloth down here and a key. Um, this is going to be, I forgot to say, uh, a scrapbook of an old grandma, you know, this is grandma from about 1942, and grandmas back then were, um, I, I feel like maybe, because there wasn't so much going on, maybe they were closer, they were uh, maybe a little bit stronger in their Christian life, and um, uh, spent a little bit more time in their Bibles and on their knees and things, and uh, grandmas these days, even some of them work, you know, there's just so much going on. So this is a scrapbook of an old Christian grandma from 1942. So I did an old country church. Love old country churches. Love this image of these praying hands. I've always loved that image. This says, God grant me the, ren the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to sh change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Boy, I need to read that every day. This is an image, an old, old image. Uh, gosh, you see big prints of this. I love that image, and I love the grandma image. Um, and then they have things on the back. Um, grandma and grandpa praying at the kitchen table. This says, home. Home, you are a special place. You're where I wake and wash my face. You brush my teeth and comb my hair, change my socks and my underwear, clean my ears and blow my nose, and try on all my parents' clothes. It's just a neat little thing with a little ribbon in there. This is a, just a little image in a belly band. Uh, keep calm and drink tea. And then the little pen with the buttons on it. Some more of those little flowers. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh, got some more of those flowers, some lace, some fabric. Uh, some more of that. I bought several of those big square um, doilies, and I love them. I just love them. Uh, let's do this before we... Uh, little Cottage. Uh, know a little cottage where everything's just right. The windows bloom with tulips at dusk. There's candlelight. I love anything that sounds like it's from the older days, and that definitely was. But um, I love the saying of that poem. 
the most treasured heirlooms are memories of home and family. And boy, that is so true. Let's see here what we got. I love to sit in silence beneath the shady trees and listen to the song of birds and to the buzz of bees. That's an old, old poem, too, and I used that once before um, in one of the books. Um, I've got so much of this stuff, but some of the things I just, uh, you know, I'm kind of, I just kind of lean to them like we all do different things. It's just a folded doily stuck in there. This is a little paper book covered with fabric. And on the inside it says, the older I get, the more I realize I just need the simple things in life. A comfy home, good food on the table, and to be surrounded by people I love. And that's got just some uh, lace down the front. Everybody recognizes that from Hobby Lobby. Those little flowers. I have to distress those little flowers, but I do love them and I use them quite a bit. They're just a little bit too bright for me. That's just a little tuck that says love life. Love life. And this is just a, a paper covered with fabric. I don't have much room in here and I can't show like I like to be able to. And each one of these sayings has a, each one of these little lines has a scripture under it, like Grandma would like. It says, in our home, always be honest, forgive and forget, be kind-hearted, keep your promises, work hard, be thankful, never give up, and love one another. Only those who care about you can hear you when you're quiet. I love that. Absolutely love that quote. Okay, let's see what we got over here. I'm trying to move right along and make this because I had to do it over because I messed up the first one. I was editing it, and it just disappeared. Okay, just a tucked doily there. I folded. And this is a paper book uh, covered with fabric. It says, Love is Kind. Love that image. That's all over uh, Pinterest. I just put some different kinds of fabric here, and it's covered with a fabric. And this says, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. And that just goes, everybody's read that, the if. And this is an envelope made out of paper. And it just has a little button and fabric on the back. It says, life is beautiful. Yes, life is beautiful. One of the quotes that I love to use more than anything is love life. And I followed Steve Fugate uh, across America a couple of times. <laughs> he made that walk across America. And uh, his motto was love life. He carried a sign that said love life. He's off the road right now. I think he's had some health problems. And he's really getting too old to be walking around America. My goodness. Um, he's walked tens and tens and tens of thousands of miles over the years. I want to set hearts yearning for innocent pleasures and simpler times. And yes, I sure do want to do that. I want that for myself and I want to help others um, do that. Um, I just love the simpler way of doing everything. Uh, this is another paper book covered with fabric. And I put some bunnies in here. Um, I collect bunnies in the uh, spring when uh, Hobby Lobby puts out those little vintage Easter bunnies. I love that little vintagey, and they almost look like this. But this says our lives are simple. Our lives are simply storybooks that we write ourselves. Make your storybook a good one. Love that old rusted, rusted button. There comes a point in your life when you need to stop reading other people's books and just start writing your own. What good advice. I love that button, too. That's a very unusual button. Kind of shiny, but I loved it, so I put it in here. The image of the two little bunnies. Love that image. Um, um, I've got some smaller books that I think I'm going to use that in. I'm going to try to do some, some smaller books to get some much cheaper stuff out there. I still will do the big books, but I just want to... Uh, offer something that anybody can afford, and I understand that as much as anybody else, because I'm I'm a real thrifty person. I'm not a spender, so I'm going to come up with some books that anybody should be able to afford. Just have some little something of this vintage, vintage grandma look. Grandmas are just antique little girls, and boy, yes, they are. So even grandma would love having this book in her book because she is just an antique little girl. Here's a little paper bag, just a little paper bag with a piece of lace on it, some creepy cloth and some buttons. And I just made a tuck spot there. Uh, this is just a, a pitcher with some flowers in it. Put it back in there so we don't lose it. 
And this says the fondest memories are made when gathered around the table. And that is so true too uh, when I was growing up. I have so many memories of growing up around the kitchen table um, when I was little. And it was story time at our house. And so we did that for our kids. Supper time was a time when everybody gathered around the table. And uh, it was story time for everybody. Everybody told what was good about their day and what was bad about their day if there wasn't anything. And, and we just shared our uh, thoughts and things that happened during the day. This is a book that I forgot to do back here on the front page. Um, it's just a paper book covered with fabric, a big doily, some paper flowers, buttons, and creepy cloth. And it's the paradox of our time. And it's all over the internet that this was written by this person and that person. And that's not true. It was written by Dr. Bob Moorhead. <laughs> and I know that's a fact because I know, personally know, Dr. Bob Moorhead. And um, he sent me some of his books and things. Um, this is the paradox of our time in history. is that we have taller buildings but shorter tempers, wider free ray, freeways, but narrow, narrower viewpoints. We spend more but have less. We buy more but enjoy less. We have bigger houses and smaller families. More conveniences but less time. And it just goes on and on. And I'm going to tuck that back over here again because I had already forgot I had it. Okay, moving on. Let's see here. Uh, this is just... Uh, uh, doily that I cut in half and put some, uh, just a rag, really, tore rag, put some lace under that and some buttons, uh, flower off of just a bunch of flowers that I had in a, in a box, um, safety pin and some buttons. Let's see what's in here. This is just another big folded doily that I just glued in there to have the back. And, um, uh, kindness matters, it says on the front of here. And this says... I wish I, we lived in simpler times when love was quick to seed. Boy, wouldn't that be great when, if love was quick to seed like it used to be in the olden days. I don't know. Cling to what is good. I love this. Um, it's a paper book. All these little books are start out as paper, but they're covered with fabric. And um, the inside it says, Some people are so worried about being pretty. Let's put more time into being pretty kind, pretty compassionate, pretty funny, pretty strong. It's those things that will get you going in the right direction. Love, Grandma. So we got a lot of words of wisdom, uh, a lot of words of wisdom from Grandma in this book. I love that. Love that red fabric. And I'm not big on red. I like kind of neutral colors normally. But I did love that um, fabric. Another paper book with a doily on it. And this says, I'd like to make a difference. I've used this poem for years and years and years, and I know I've given away hundreds of these because I put them in all my gift bags. And even when we'd go on the road, we don't travel so much anymore because we've got Grandma in the nursing home, but uh, so we stick pretty close to home. But we used to travel quite a bit, and um, I would leave these in restaurants in little bags, tiny bags with just some little chocolate or something in it. And whatever was in there, this poem was always in there, and I always left them on the... Uh, a little bag on the foot of our bed when we'd leave a motel, too, and it would have some little something in there, but it always had this poem. And this says, God has given me a place on earth to be here for a while. I hope that as I'm passing through, I will make somebody smile. I want to make life easier for all the ones I meet. I ask God for his blessings to the strangers on the street. Oh, and I just love that. I love anything like that that's kind of warm and fuzzy. This is just a cabin. Maybe it was Grandma's cabin. Maybe it's where she lived. In 1942, maybe it's where she grew up. We don't know, but I thought Grandma would like that when I saw that. This is another of the little bags. Have a paper clip on it and some buttons. I've just done some uh, burlap and different fabrics on there. And that's some more of that fabric, some lace. You can pretty well see what's on here. This says, every day of our lives, we're making deposits in the member banks of our family. And that is so true, whether it's... Uh, uh, positive deposits or negative deposits. We are making deposits daily, and we need to think about that when we say and do things. Uh, home and family are not important things. They're everything, and boy, they are to me, I'm telling you. My home and my family, I'm a, a recluse, almost a recluse. You'll see me at church. If you go to my church, uh, well, you know, if you follow my Facebook page, you know there's been a big blow up at church, and that place is about to close its doors. What a shame, because I've been pianist there for 49 years, and that's it's really made an impact on me this summer. That's one of the things that had me so down, and I just couldn't focus. But 
where was I going with that? But, uh, uh, but it, oh, you'll see me at church. I said, yes, you'll see me at church. I'm always there. If the door's open, I'm there. Or I was when the door was open. Um, uh, and home and family. I am a recluse. Church in the grocery store. And other than that, I just like being home. Uh, make today amazing. Woo, well, that's good advice for every day. Make every day amazing. Once upon a time, there was an island where all feelings lived, happiness, sadness, knowledge, and all the others, including love. And that is a really, really good story. Just gives you goosebumps when you read that whole story. Uh, remembering back to when I was 10, um, this is one that I put in uh, another book, and I, I really liked it. Um, it says to stand in front of the mirror and just look at yourself and remember back when you were 10 years old and... Um, what were your favorite things about your childhood, your school, your what What was your favorite class, what was your favorite game you liked to play, who were your best friends, who was your best teacher or your favorite teacher? It's just some things to think about. Okay, this is a patchwork envelope, and I love making patchwork envelopes. They take a little bit of time, but boy, do they thrill me to get to sit there and cut that fabric and make it all work. Love beyond words. Let's see what we got in here. This says, your mind is a garden, your thoughts are the seeds. You can grow flowers or you can grow weeds. Think about it. <laughs> As Eva May Lefebvre would say in some of her songs, when she makes a profound statement, she'll say, think about it, right in the middle of her song. <laughs> Hope is a word that resonates deeply for many people. It evokes family, childhood, some of their most vivid memories, and it's a word that brings comfort to the soul, that names a place we want to return to, that makes us feel safe, loved, and nurtured. And I know the person that's going to get this book, and we talk quite often, and uh, she is going to just love that saying. I need to put a bigger one in there and that she can frame if she wants to with that saying on it because that is so her. How to make the most of every day. Wake up early, visualize your day, make your uh, plan your meals, find the good, do things you love. I'm sorry I'm talking so fast and I'm just zipping through this, but I had this done once and uh, I just felt like I needed to change something. Okay, I'll put that down for right now. And then I accidentally deleted the video. A poem begins, or if it's there somewhere, I can't find it. That's just a postcard. I just uh, printed that off of Pinterest and put some backing behind it. Ten ways to love. Listen without interrupting. Speak without accusing. Give without sparing. Uh, play without, uh, pray without ceasing. <laughs> play without ceasing. And then there's that on the back. And this little, what is this? Oh, that was just a little tuck. Goes down in there. Just a little flower pot. Okay. Let's put this back up here so we don't lose it because I am rushed and rattled today. Oh, my goodness. I was going to mail this out yesterday and I had to help my husband do some things and um, just didn't get to town. And a uh, good thing because the video disappeared and now I need to do it again. That was the Lord working. Another one, a uh, big fa uh, folded doily. Um, that is um, chenille, piece of chenille bedspread, some doily folded down fabric, and I tell you, the, these books are really full of a bunch of nothing, but I love to make these books. Oh my goodness. Now lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Isn't that great? It's from the old, 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 old days. This is just a little book I made. I thought I'd stick a few recipes in here, and I just, uh, uh, distressed on mine. I got some vintage recipes, buttermilk biscuits. We have the buttermilk biscuits homemade a couple times a week. My husband loves buttermilk biscuits and homemade gravy. Mayonnaise cake. Now, this is a really good cake. Uh, we had a friend who was passing away. He knew he was going to pass away. He had terminal cancer and he didn't have much longer. And We were visiting and he said, you know, one thing I'd like to have um, is my mom's mayonnaise cake just one time before I die. And I said, mayonnaise cake, what is it? And he said, well, it's a cake that, you know, they, they didn't have a lot of dairy and things back in the old days. And sometimes they didn't have eggs and it was just made from scratch stuff. So I came home and found that recipe on uh, Pinterest and by doggies. The next day he had that mayonnaise cake and we had made us a small one. And that was a really, really good cake. You put chocolate in it, cocoa and, uh, 
it was just delicious, uh, really better than uh, uh, most cakes. Grandmothers create memories that the heart holds forever. Is that the truth? And let's see what this is. This is a little envelope. Let's see what we have in here. I'll be as surprised as you are because I forgot. Well, here we go. I'm all thumbs today because I'm in such a rush. I'm always in a rush. Oh, Faith, a little church. I love, 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 love country churches. My daddy was a Baptist preacher and he had country churches all through the years and I've been writing some posts on my Facebook page, and you can still find them down through there. There'll be a picture of a country church with each one, and I wrote, On the Quest to Find Real Church. <laughs> Everybody's trying to go highfalutin, and, you know, uh, sometimes that works, and sometimes it doesn't. Some people just want the real thing. I uh, love that bird. has a little bit of a hem or something on the back of that, and I've just put some tucks in there. Simple life is a beautiful life love we love because he first loved us always stay on one kind as for me and my house we will serve the lord and then um a floral grandma's loved the lilacs and the pansies and all the old purple flowers back in the old days they didn't have a lot of these newer highfalutin and this is just a little smiley face i also collect smiley faces and i was just opening the refrigerator door one day and saw uh, that and I thought I should put one of these smiley faces in the book. So I made a copy and there it is. This is just a big uh, square book. It's made out of paper covered with fabric. Has some pins and a uh, pen and buttons and some net. Another little bunny. Love, love, love the bunny. This says living a simple life raised down to earth. Keeper of lost art, arts. Hmm. Seeker of old things. Walker of dusty lanes and lover of every day. I love that quote. That is me and my husband. Boy, we are uh, old school to the bone. Happiness can be found within the darkest of times if one only remembers to switch on the light. Wow. Let our little light shine. Always, always, always. I'm going to clip that back. And let's see. We're almost to the end. Thank goodness, because I have got to get this other one done and get these things ready to mail so I can mail them first thing Monday morning. I uh, love the big clock. I collect big old clocks, but I like numbers. I don't like Roman, no, uh, Roman numerals. There's another one of those flowers that needs fluffed up. Lace in the background over fabric. Uh, just lots of lace in here. Let's see what this is. This says, before you speak, think. Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Or is it kind? Always be kind. Kindness is free. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, I love this. I've had this for years and years and years, decades, as a matter of fact. It says, on the street, I saw a small girl, cold and shivering in a thin dress, with little hope of a decent meal. I became angry, and I said to God, now why did you permit this? Why don't you do something about it? For a while, God didn't say anything, and that night, he replied quite suddenly. And he said, I certainly did do something about it. I made you. Mm, 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 mm. That is right down my alley. Love, love, love to help people. And my husband says, yes, and they know it, and they see you coming a mile away. But, <laughs> you know, I try to be careful. I've been in some real messes trying to help people. Trying to help this one family one time and uh, had the church involved. But And our daughter came, Kim, came to help us and because there was so much to do. They didn't have floors or anything, windows. Oh, my goodness, there was so much work. But they also had a pit bull, and the pit bull bit our daughter and knocked her down and scratched her up, and oh, my goodness, my help that time cost us $1,200. <laughs> so, because she had to have all kind of stuff done. But thank goodness it could have been worse. Okay, that is just really wax paper. I just wanted to see what wax paper would do distressed. So now we know. And this is just a bird. I put these on our Christmas tree. Uh, at Christmas, I do a real old-fashioned tree, and I'll show it to you uh, this year. But I do uh, cut birds out of songbook pages and uh, hearts and things, too, um, and distress them and put them on the tree. And there's just a heart out of paper. It's really nothing. This is another little paper book covered with fabric. 
And it says, I know something good about you. Wouldn't this old world be better if folks we met would say, I know something good about you, and then treat us just that way. Wouldn't it be fine and dandy if each hand clasped fond and true carried with it it's a, uh, this assurance? I know something good about you. And it's just got some flowers and doilies and buttons, and it's coffee dyed. And, and this is just a little flap I put to hang over the side there. I love these... Um, uh, whoever gets any of these books, I love to leave the strings because that gives it an older look. So anybody that gets one doesn't want them, um, can cut them off <laughs> if you want to. Um, encourage one another and lift each other up. I love that quote, and that's what started the Encourager newsletter 20-something years ago. I just saw it one day, and I thought, wow, encourage one another and lift each other up. What a concept. I need to do something with that. So I sat down and designed a newsletter and started putting them out around the community. And, um, gosh, next thing you know, I had people calling and wanting 20 extra and 30 extra, and I was putting out, instead of 20 or 30 a week, I was putting out 200 a week, and uh, then I had to move it to a month, and then I finally just, uh, I just put them out now and then when I want to, or when I have time, which isn't very often. Let everything you say or do, let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. And that is such, uh, such good advice. Let's see here what we've got. We've got another big book here. Love these books. I love to make these books. And uh, it's just got the, that's a heart doily, and I got them at um, Dollar Tree in a package. So some buttons and a pen and a flower and a little clothes pin. And this is Grandma's Apron, and uh, there's different versions of this, but I like this one. It says, the principal use of Grandma's Apron was to protect the dress underneath, but along with that, it served as a holder for removing hot pans from the oven. It was wonderful for drying chicken children's tears. <laughs> from the chicken coop, the apron was used for carrying eggs, fuzzy chicks, and sometimes half hatched eggs to be finished in the warming oven and then it goes on and on what all grandma used her apron for i love that just love that quote i love anything of the old days and this is uh, this is old as the hills it says if jesus came to your house to spend a day or two if he came unexpectedly i wonder what you'd do oh i know you'd give your nicest room to such an honored guest and all the food you'd serve to him would be your very best and you would keep assuring him you, you're glad to have him there, that serving him in your home is joy beyond compare. But when you saw him coming, would you meet him at the door with arms outstretched and welcome to your heavenly visitor? And that goes on to say, would you have to run and hide your magazines and uh, put your videos up and all that so he wouldn't see the things that um, you have in your home? Well, I can tell you, if he came in our door physically, <laughs> um, we wouldn't have to do a thing. <laughs> Um, you might give him the broom and say, oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm overwhelmed with work. Could you help me? <laughs> this says, bless me. Oh, my Savior, bless me. As I sit low at thy feet, oh, look down in love upon me and let me see thy face so sweet. And that's just, it has some other things in there. I just did some stamping on the back. And I'm learning to stamp, so some of them are a little messy. Uh, this is another little paper book with some fabric and lace and things on the on the outside. The joy of friendship is not the outstretched hand, not the kindly smile, not the joy of companionship. It's the spiritual inspiration that comes to one when he discovers that someone else believes in him and is willing to trust him. Ralph Waldo Emerson said that. I love that. Just just love old old poems, old old readings. This is an envelope made out of some paper. I printed this paper off of um, Pinterest. Put the little chicken stamp on it. Some fabric on the back. And it says, I want to inspire people. I want someone to look at me someday and say, because of you, I didn't give up. Uh, I do want that. I, I go out of my way to help people when I can. And as I said, I sometimes get in messes. Sometimes it was not the best idea. But uh, you live, you learn. So, um, anyway, that's it. That's a wrap. Uh, this book is sold. Um, it'll go out Monday morning. Um, uh, I hope to have another one next week. I'm going to have another video in just a little bit. Um, 
that was going to be a, a little another little book inside this, but I got it so fat it wouldn't go in there, so it's gonna it had to sell by itself, and it is already sold too. So um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd appreciate it if you would. <laughs> I have a Facebook page for the Junk Journals, and it's called Junk Journals from Grandma with Love. And I invite you to join us there. Um, make comments, whatever, positive, negative, if you have something you'd like to see in the Junk Journal. Most of these will be Grandma Junk Journals and Grandma Scrapbooks, and because that's just the way my mind wanders. But uh, I am going to do some smaller things uh, that's going to sell uh, really reasonable that I hope anybody be able to afford. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your patience. I'm sorry I messed up the other video. Um, I'm still learning to do all of this. I've been making the books for like 25 or 30 years, but I'm new to the videos. So thank you all so much, and uh, I love you all. Thanks.